Hello and welcome to Waylanders Wandering, where it's that time of the week again and we're going to go through the Sunday preview from Games Workshop, today being Sunday the 29th of January 2023. So let's get digging straight away. And we're looking at the new Arcs of Omen Angron, where Big Red gets his own chance for him and his boys to come and play on your spaceships, whether you want them to or not. Starting off, we have the Arcs of Omen Angron books ready for pre-order next week. And as usual, they will be in a collector's edition and a standard edition. And as always, if you want the collector's edition, I suggest you get your pre-orders in as soon as humanly possible. Because these babies tend to go fast. To go with the... Uh, new book we have the new miniature for angron demon prince of primark sorry of corn the eponymous hero of the arcs of omen is going to come and spoil everybody's day just by showing up because that's his job this massive miniature full of detail and more skulls than you could possibly shake a stick at Unless, of course, you get a very big stick, in which case he'll take it off you and beat you to death with it. Moving on, we have, if you're planning on picking up the book and the model at the same time, on pre-order from Games Workshop, there's an exclusive art print bundle that will net you an excellent artwork as seen on the cover of the Arts of Omen Angron book, but only while stocks last. So again, guys, if you want this, get in early. As companion pieces to uh, uh, the Arcs of Omen Angron, we are looking at Codex World Eaters, which is the well, it's the Codex for the World Eaters, which again will be in the Standard Edition and the Limited Edition. Get in quick if you want the Collector's Edition. They, this will definitely fly off fast. Moving on, we have the Lord Invocatus mounted on a Juggernaut of Corn. And this model is quite simply lovely. The dynamism in that juggernaut and the detail on the model and with along with the um, differences, different ways you can build him. So you can have him as Lord Invocatus or a standard champion of corn are just fantastic. This juggernaut is amazing. The, the dynamism is really good. Much better than the old blocky horrible metal things that when I first started the exalted eight bound are some nice well exalted eight bound of corn and as good corn guys they have definitely got to taught the sleeves off their armor I don't know why you would wear beautiful beautiful power armor and then tear the sleeves off and never wear your helmet unless it's to show off your lovely lovely mutations Moving on, we have the Corn Berserkers, who are at least partially sensible, and most of them have kept their armour on and, you know. But, if so you need a bad guy, and you need a bad guy who's going to chop everything up into small, manageable, bite-sized chunks for you, you cannot go far wrong with the Corn Berserkers. Personally, I would have gone for a deeper, bloodier red, a more maroon colour, but this is cool too. And just like all the all the all the best people, the Cornate Berserkers and the World Eaters have their very own hangers on with the Jackals, their very own corn cultists. The World Eaters are also going to get their own data card and dice set. The dice look quite nice if you're into that kind of thing, but the data cards are probably going to be useful. Then we move on to the Black Library. We have Angron Red Angel Special Edition with ribbon and leather binding and gold edges. And it just looks beautiful. Limited to 1,500 copies worldwide. So again, if you want this, get in quick. Red Angel is also being re-released in hardback, MP3 audiobook and digital ebook editions in both English and French. 
And uh, this novel is a great way to set up for the new Arcs of Omen Angron expansion. We have a Bale Fleet Battle Force. Try saying that three times fast. While Angron's horse sweep across the galaxy, the rest of the traitor Astartes aren't just sitting on their butts. So the Bale Fleets continue their search for uh, Abaddon's mysterious relics, and this box will contain 10 possessed, 5 Chaos Terminators, a Hell Drake, and the new Demon Prince, all fully capable of making mincemeat out of anything that stands in front of them. Coming up against the Battle Force, we have a Boarding Patrol Space Marines containing a Captain in Gravis Armor, 10 Assault Intercessors, and 5 Heavy Intercessors making close quarters force with plenty of firepower for when something nasty sticks its head around the corner. In Blood Bowl, we have Bryce the Slice Cambiel, an undead with a flaming chainsaw. Who is? That's actually a really nice miniature. It almost makes me want to start playing Blood Bowl. Almost, but not quite. If I wanted to play football, I think I'd just go to Sports Direct and buy a football. But if you like Blood Bowl, fair play to you and good for you. For Warhammer the Horus Heresy, we have made to order Alpha, Le Le Alpha Legion upgrades with Cataphracty shoulder pads, Mark III shoulder pads, and Mark IV torsos. And we're also seeing the other sneaky guys, but the good guys this time. The made to order Raven Guard upgrades with Mark II shoulder pads, Mark III shoulder pads, and Mark IV shoulder pads. So, all the marks. From the Black Library again, we have Renegades of the Long War, featuring stories by Anthony Reynolds, Ian St. Martin, and Rob Sanders, available in paperback and ebook editions by the look of it. We also have the Unholy Tales of Horror, Woe from the Imperium, another anthology coming out in paperback and ebook editions. Actually, these anthologies of the Tales of Horror should be really good. These little anthologies, particularly the horror and the crime ones, are really, really good. Well worth every penny you spend on them. We also have the Black Hearts Omnibus from the Warhammer Chronicles by Nathan Long. Relive the secret missions of the much maligned Black Hearts in this omnibus of three novels and two shorts by Nathan Long. And I'm afraid that is it again for this week. So all you cornate uh, dog botherers, blood for the blood god, enjoy yourselves. Thank you for staying to the end. I hope you found my witterings interesting and useful. I love your faces and goodbye.